Hey everybody. Grief is a really interesting experience. Um, one moment you can feel like I just want to stay in the bed and the next minute you can find yourself hitting balls on the tennis court to move through the emotions. That's my journey. Um, the last couple of days have been a little intense because it is the first time that I am not able to say happy birthday to my mom in the physical realm because she made her transition. And last year, I celebrated her 83rd birthday with her and most years I celebrated with my mom, especially um, the last four or five years. I've been blessed to, to do that. Um, most of my life I've celebrated my mother's birthday with her. Um, and so this year was hard because last year we were celebrating her birthday and then the 100th anniversary of our sorority, Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated. We were in Indianapolis, her hometown. We were with her family, and it was the first time she celebrated her birthday in decades in her hometown. And it was so beautiful, so special to see my mom be in Indianapolis and have the experiences that she had. And I'm grateful for all the time that I got to spend with her, especially the last, man, I can't even, it's like the last, all my 58 years, you know, with the last two years, we traveled together, we, um, we did so many things together. And it's those memories that helped me during these hard times during this first year, these first anniversaries. Um, Thanksgiving is coming up and it will be the first Thanksgiving without her. Then her anniversary with my dad is coming up. Then it's Christmas. Then it's um, Valentine's Day. Well, it's Kwanzaa. Then it's New Year's. Then it's Valentine's Day. Then it's um, the first day of spring. Then it's Easter, then it's Mother's Day, then, you know, it's the summer solstice, it's all these different days, and then it's every ninth of the month where I check in with myself to see how I'm doing, because she made her transition on July 9th, and so a good friend of mine, my, one of my best friends, Wayne, had to talk to me the other day about trying to put myself on a schedule to move through this grief, trying to control it. And you can't control grief. He was like, you can't microwave grief and I'm gonna use that. Um, you have to let it do what it's gonna do when it's gonna do it. You have to surrender. And that's, that's what I've been doing. Not easy to do, but that's what I've been doing. And so for me, part of what helps me surrender and to feel anchored is to, one, acknowledge how I'm feeling, two, meditate, do yoga, do Reiki, affirmations, prayers, drink water, move my body like I did this morning by walking over and hitting the balls on the wall to practice my forehand, having support. I'm on my way to meet up my friend Tanya, who also lost her mother recently, and we're going to do a walk. It's reading, it's journaling. I got my journal and my, my tennis bag and my book that I'm reading, so finding things to anchor myself. It's making these videos, it's talking to my therapist talking to family and friends it's staying in my pajamas and resting it's watching some of my favorite shows girlfriends and laughing it's 
having like a birthday lunch for my mom, heavenly birthday lunch. It's leading these weekly meditations during my mom's birthday month in honor of her and sharing her wisdom on spirit, self-care, and service. It's getting yellow roses to honor my mom's spirit, yellow tea roses, because that was a flower, that is the flower of our sorority, Sigma Gamma Rho. It's wearing the pins that she gave me. And uh, sleeping in some of her t-shirts and wearing some of her scarves and her jewelry talking to her spirit hello every day and being still so I can listen to her knowing that she is my loving wise and well ancestor so I wanted to just share this um, one to encourage anyone who's going through loss to be kind and gentle with yourself to be um, to be patient with your journey. It ain't ever over, as I've been told. And, uh, just walk it out slowly. Lay it out if you have to lay in the bed, you know. But most of all, know that you're not alone, that there are others that are experiencing this. And ask for help. Don't try to do this grief journey on your own all right y'all i'll talk to you next time have a beautiful beautiful rest of your day bye